Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Forex Broker Review, IC Market, True ECN. Accounts type available. A regular account. In this account, you will pay a regular spread and no commissions. And the other one is a true ECN account, the one that I like the most. With this account, you will have no or little spread to pay depending on the market conditions. And you will pay a commission. The commission is $7 per lot traded. You pay half when you open a position and half when you close it. Note that their commission will be a bit cheaper when you use CTrader as a trading platform. You can get discount on the commissions once you trade more than 100 lots per month. Those are the details of the commissions. So depending on the currency, the price change, GBP is only 0 0.025, but on average it costs around $7 per lot traded. Spread. There is a spread even with a true ECN account, because the market doesn't always agree on the buying and selling price, and this gap is the original market spread and it can't be avoided. You need to know that sometimes the spread widen when the big boys make their stop hunt and also at the end of the trading day, when all markets are closed and there is only few liquidity in the market. This fact happens with every broker as I know of. If you lose a trade because of that matter, you can't blame the broker. This spread element can easily trigger your stop loss and make you lose a trade. Let me explain to you on the chart. Ok, you can see on my chart two lines, two white little lines above the counter. Those lines represent the spread, and as you can see, sometimes the spread gets bigger, sometimes the spread gets a little bit lower. The spread move all the time, depending on the market, buyers and the sellers. We are on AudioSD on the 1 minute chart, so you can see the spread is very little with this broker. So what happened during the day? You can't see it now. But during the end of the day, for example, the two lines are here, right here. The liquidity will not be enough, and the difference between the buyer and the seller might be, for example, uh, right here and right here and it can absolutely go beyond that value and this value is already 4 pips on my chart but sometimes it can go above 30 to 40 pips so for example if you have placed a trade and I will place for example you have your entry line right here and you put your stop loss right here like 2 to 5 pips above I will put it in red so you have your stop loss and the price go in your favor I will define the price going in a blue line, so the price go down. But at the end of the day, now I will represent my bid and ask line. The bid is here, for example, and the ask go all the way up and trigger your stop loss. But the, the price really didn't move so much, but it put you out of your trade just because there is not enough liquidity in the market and between, for example, 23 hour uh, GMT and zero hour GMT, uh, it might make gap in the spread as big as that and as I told you sometimes it can go until 40 pips so you will have less gap like that in the major pairs like Euro USD the major pair the major pair are AUD USD, Euro USD, GBP USD, USD CAD and USD CHF and USD GPY but on all the minor and exotic pair you might have a very big gap at the end of the day and your spread might increase very drastically. So you have to be very careful about that. And I would advise don't place any trade when it's nearly the end of the day. If you don't have enough time for this trade to move in your favor, and if you have a very tight stop, it's not safe at all to open a trade at the end of the day. And this happens with every bo broker, so you can't blame IC Market because it will happen the same way with every broker. I hope this explanation is clear. Ask me in the comment section if you have any more questions about that. 
So to protect you, first be extra careful during the end of the day, as I just told you when you enter a position. Second, use a spread indicator so you can monitor in real time the spread activity on your chart. So let's come back to the chart, I just show you how it is. So you have two types of indicator, like a bid and ask line indicator, like this one on my chart, this, those two white little lines show you exactly the bid and the ask line, those lines when they separate, so it's a nice indicator. Or also what you can install is a spread indicator. So I have a short key to make it. Okay, so this is a spread indicator. You can have access to this spread indicator in the comment below. There is a link where you can download it. And the settings are not uh, very complicated. Huh? The font size, where you will find it, and that's it. And so this is, at the bottom, my spread indicator. And it speaks to me in micro pips. So now, right now, the spread on AudioSD is 0 0.2 pips. 1.2 pump, it means 0 0.2. When it's 10, it means there is, there is one pip spread. And it shows you in real time if the spread increase or decrease. It can be very nice during the day, so when you place your trade, you see if the spread is regular or if there is a very big uh, difference in it and it's a very big volatility and it can be dangerous for your stop loss. So it's nice to have this indicator on your chart by security. Let's come back to the presentation. So those are the screenshots of the spread page on IC Market website. So as you can see, for the true ECN account, the spread are really, really uh, little. It can be zero, and on average it's 0 0.1 for Euro USD, which is very nice. The major pairs are very nice to trade because the spread is very, very low. And if you take a standard account, you have on average one pip more than the true ECN. But you also have to know that the commission represents most of the time one pip. So the difference between the true ECN and the standard is nearly the same in terms of uh, what you pay to the broker. It can be just the spread or it can be the spread plus the commission, but they equal most of the time one pip. So it's nearly the same. But the true ECN assure you a security that your order will be placed anonymously into the market to an anonymous uh, liquidity provider, which is what I like to have as a trading conditions. The spread on other pairs, as you can see, when we go, for example, on CAT-CHF, which is a minor pair, the spread increased, even for the true ECN account. And the exotic pair are the same, they increase also. Now let's look at the slippage and the swap. It is a gap that happens at the end of the day or during the news event most of the time. Sometimes the news triggered so much money that the price jumped from one price to another, and this can make you enter your trade at a totally different price if you had a pending order placed, for example, at $115 to sell, and the news happens and triggered your sell way below, like $0.95. Once again, this happens to every broker, and you can't blame them for that. That's simply the way market behave during such event. But from my personal experience with IC Market, before I was trading with another market maker broker and I compared with a friend of mine who was already trading with IC Market and the slippage, I mean the difference from my entry point and where I have been really entered in the market was around 20 pips during the news and my friend who was with IC Market had only 8 pips slippage with IC Market which means it was way 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 better with IC Market than my market maker broker so that's why also I trust IC Market Sometimes it can also trigger your stop loss in a very bad manner, making you lose two or more times what you intended to lose at the first place on this trade. So to protect yourself from this universal element, you should always take a look at the economic calendar. I have made a tutorial about it in a previous video introductory about Forex, the link is below in the description, to be aware of the impacting news of the day. Second thing you can do to protect yourself is to be prepared to have slippage if you trade the news and place your stop loss wisely. So let me show you quickly an example about yesterday because yesterday there was a news interesting. So let's take a look at yesterday because yesterday there was a news on USD and it was interesting to see. So let me open for example. Okay, so here is the news on USD JPY. 
And for example, if you trade the news, you might have placed your entry, I will make the entry in yellow, right here, in a sell direction, as a breakout trade, and you might have put an entry right here as a buy position. So the buy didn't trigger, but this sell triggered. And as you can see, it's a one minute chart and the candle is very big. So sometimes due to the slippage, the price goes so fast, it doesn't trigger exactly at your entry with the broker. It's impossible for them to do that. So they trigger you where they can, where the, the market permits them to enter. So aside of being triggered right here, you might have been triggered your entry point right here, which is a few pips below. Sometimes it can be way more than that if the news is very fast and jumpy. In this case, we talk about our entry point if we trade a breakout. But let's see another example. Now you are in a position. Let's say you entered before the news and my yellow line is your entry point at this level. And you have a stop loss. I will place my stop loss. So for example, if you have sell this your stop loss will be right here. And if you have buy it, I will make it in blue. If you have buy it, your stop loss would have been below like that. So during the news, the same happened. Uh, the candle was so fast that it couldn't trigger your stop loss where it was. And aside of that, it triggered your stop loss maybe here. But if it triggered your stop loss from here to here, it's nearly two times, you know, one time your loss two time and two time and half your loss. So in this trade, you intended to lose, for example, $100. But in fact, because of the news, it has been triggered so much lower that you lose $200 and maybe more. That's what can happen during the news. That's what we call slippage. It can go in your favor, but it can go against you. And you can't hold the broker responsible for that since it happened with every broker. I hope this explanation is clear. And once again, let me know in the comments if you have more questions about it. So last word about the slippage to protect yourself, be aware of when the news happen. And if you open a trade before the news and it will be a very impacting news, I advise you close your trade if the price is close to the entry of the stop loss or the stop loss. Then we have what we call the swap. This is the difference of interest value from one currency to another. It means every time you hold a trade overnight, you pay or you win the difference in interest between the two currency of the pair. It is universal once again and sometimes you pay it, sometimes you earn from it. The broker can't be held responsible once again. This is the end of the lesson. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alert and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market. It's a true ECN low spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.